developing a new generation of entrepreneurs to provide practical tools to teach young people how to build businesses and to create employment for others. In Lagos, the possibilities are endless. Lagos State, in partnership with AGDC, presents Ignite, powered by First Bank and supported by Bank of Industry. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Everyone tells me they've got a million and one ideas. The only reason they can't execute their ideas is because they don't have the money to do it. So today, we're going to test out your ideas. Truly. Ideas are a dime a dozen. There are a million and one ideas, but it's about how you're able to move from the idea to the reality, the process that is involved. So today, we've got some money on the table. And after uh, a selection process from the many people that showed interest to pitch, they have shortlisted to certain people who will make a pitch. And to do that effectively, I asked two of my friends to join me here today in order to show you how the general investor that you're trying to get money for, for your projects, will evaluate your projects. You are going to be part of the team because you'll be the first to evaluate your pair's ideas before we tell you what we think. And if we think it's worth money, then we decide what kind of money can go. The money on the table is interest-free, but it's money that will be given for a season or for a certain period of time and will then be returned so we can recycle it for some other people later. All right? So sitting on my far left, it's a face you probably remember. She's a financial whiz kid. Mm -hmm. Tokumba is the managing director of Alithia Capitals, and she's got a great heart for raising a whole new generation of entrepreneurs. She set up the entrepreneurs ecosystem, which is uh, like a meeting point for young entrepreneurs with angel investors, and also to share ideas and to support each other for the businesses to grow. And I know that she's always aggressively trying to raise a lot of international money to support the growth of small businesses so that we can create the jobs that we need in this country. Welcome, Tokumbo Ishmael. Well, sitting right beside her, the only man in the house, mm. is Ibalo Gulen Yobiri. Because <laughs> he's got two women all to himself on the stage. Is Femi Teju Osho. Femi is the managing director of Helios Investment Partners. Helios Investment Partners. When you walk around Nigeria and God knows where in Africa, and you see those massive towers that help to support the telecom and communication industry, then you're talking about one of the business lines of Helios as a company. And all three of us were involved in a major entrepreneurship project at some points that I'm sure you can remember. But we're here in our individual capacities because we share a common vision for our country and a concern and a commitment to raising a whole new generation of entrepreneurs to address the unemployment issue of our country. And that's why they've given up their time for this moment. Ignite from dreams to reality. From the great city of Lagos, it's another inspiring episode of Ignite. Practical business advice taking you from dreams to reality. Ignite, from dreams to reality. Uh, good day, my name is um, 
Alexander I find AZ. Um, my business description industry is agriculture. Um, the business itself is to grow rare and um, produce local vegetables and food crops. The species are Ugu, Green, Ewedu, Moringa, Okra, Popo, and Watermelon. All right. Um, agriculture has been a major, a major source of identity and income, um, job creation, economic boost for our nation until recent. The reason why uh, I came here today um, is for me to be funded um, on, this, uh, on this plan. And uh, the reason is this, because we have a very large market and um, I intend to meet the immediate and high local demand of this market. Number two is that I um, tend to create jobs and uh, more food processing opportunities. Uh, because after producing, there are still opportunities for you to process. Um, thirdly, to make vegetables affordable and always freshly available. Um, then lastly, um, to encourage young people to embrace agriculture as a major source of income. Um, what I just need really, um, because some things I've started, but some things are a major challenge. And the things are, one, the land, getting the land, uh, which is a major part of the budget. Um, then two, the, the other ones are the seedlings, the water pipe irrigation. And it's getting water constantly available. Um, I didn't include it there, uh, but part of that getting water constantly available includes getting a borehole and then pipes. And also equipment, equipment and things for me to use to always get the waters, the vegetables, water that uh, laborers were using. And also, um, I intend getting some polythene bags, transparent polythene bags, as against what is normally used in the market to um, package these vegetables and deliver it to uh, the market. Um, that's that. Then finally, which is not within here also, as I said, um, working on the fertilizer and pest control issue and all that. Really, the market, the market making money is very visible because um, per day we consume vegetables. And um, according to the Nutrition Society of Nigeria, so we should consume vegetables at least a plate of vegetables per day and fruits per day. So the market is large and no, making no, money no. Your, is good. Your market is large, it's not based on what the nutritionist has said. Your market is large, must be based on what people, people want. are consuming. So, tell us what your market is. All right, my market, people are, for example, um, in my house, do we... Okay, how, how many bags do you intend to sell a day? Okay, um, we call it beds. Bed. Okay. Bed. Um, a bed, it depends on the number of beds I want to build. For example, I have intention of building at least 45 to 50 beds. 50, okay. 50 beds. And but they intend to, to sell those 40 to 45 beds. Okay, almost and if, all that you have? Yes. Okay, and how much does that represent? Um, to sell a bed, um, you, at least for a normal situation, a normal situation, um, I intend to sell it for 550 naira to 600 naira per bed. But doing, making the bed available, as in creating the bed and everything, I would just spend like 150, 200. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You said you intend to package it in polythene bags. And we all know that vegetables cannot be properly preserved mm -hmm. if they are packaged in polythene bags. They won't last. That is one. Then two, the size of the bed you did not indicate. And then there's no way you can harvest everything in one day. You have to make sure that you make that provision for constant harvesting and then sales as well. Then the last one is, you talked about creating an avenue for those that process food. Now, how have you researched and then found out those that really process those vegetables and then make it into other products as well? Have you done that as well? That's all. Um, for the, the best actually, um, 
I don't have a, 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 a exact diameter for the bed for now. Now, for all that processing opportunities, <laughs> for that processing opportunities, I'm not really into the processing. Processing opportunities is, is a later plan. But for now, it's just to grow vegetables. It's a later plan. It's just a plan. Okay, once I start, then I'll start thinking about the processing of the... Uh, Are you a farmer? Um, I've, I've been into farming for a year plus now. So you are a farmer right yes. now. So you have experience. So you, ha you have experience, have experience. Pl planting, and you've been selling your crop. I've not been selling, uh, but in the village, my mom has a little farm. We have okay. a farmland. So that have makes a farmland you... where okay. I, I cultivate ugu and popo. And so, so how do you know? what the market acceptability is for your products. Do you know who, that people will buy your products? Yes, I've gone around. But you're not selling the ones that you're producing at the moment? No, not now, not, not yet. What, not what yet. are you doing with the, what you're producing at the moment? I've not started producing yet on a large scale. What we just do, what, I, what I've been doing over was, when I get to the village, we just cult, uh, plant, cultivate, and sell to, Families, just around us. So you have been selling to families? Yeah, just families around All right. us. So now you want to expand? Just want to expand, yes. Okay, so how many plots of land do you have now? For now, for Lagos, I do not have any plot of land. But you have in the village? Yes, I have. And you've fully farmed the one you have? No, not all. Not okay, all, because so other ones are still, uh, there are some other the, crops. That is it there. only in Lagos that there's a market? No, um, not exactly, but because... Vegetables, uh, uh, transporting them is quite a challenge. And because um, Lagos is a market, you understand? Okay, let me make myself clear. So where you're currently farming, are you, have you exploited that market totally? Yes. yes. But you're At not fully... 75% of it I've exploited, I've, I've, I've done work on it. And the surrounding areas. The my, surrounding. Gut, my gut feeling from what I see here is that it's not that you need to jump to owning land in Lagos. My, and because not everybody needs to come to Lagos to live and farm. If you're farming where you are, then it's about expansion of what you already have and seeking um, market, adjacent markets to the one that you have. That's what you should be focusing on. In which case, you don't need all this money for uh, farming. And I, I don't think you fully research the market in the area where you are right now. And I think you need to do that and sell to that market. And perhaps maybe what you need is money just for seedlings to expand in, in your current location. Okay. The, the reason why... Yeah. Um, first of all, I think we should all encourage the gentleman for yeah. even thinking about agriculture. We've had various ideas, fashion, solar energy, blah, 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 and yet here is a young man who's thinking we need to feed this nation. Without feeding the nation, what can we do? Nothing. So therefore, for that reason alone, I'm very interested in what he has to say. Yeah, but uh, I think that there's still a few uh, things you need to explain, though. Um, you've mentioned here that you need land at 350,000 naira for three years. Are you thinking of uh, leasing the land or are you thinking of buying the land? I'm thinking of leasing the land for now. Leasing the land? Yes, the 350 actually is um, for land in Ogun State. Because in the land, Ogun State? Yes, the lands there are quite, they are not so much expensive. Okay. Uh, uh, that's what, that's for the, but the land in Lagos, uh, we're looking at Ekpe and Ekorodu, we, uh, I just got to know that. Goes for within 500 to rent or to lease for a year, then there's another, and I think dimension is 50 by 70. Um, okay. Then 1.5 then 16 million to buy. Okay, so, I assume this is backed up by investigation. You've gone around to uh, landlords who are ready to lease their land to you for a period to farm, or is this to buy the land? No, to lease for now. To lease. To lease for okay. Um, yeah, that's debatable, but I know there are some uh, programs in Lagos State, I think uh, Mr. Oshika will you talk know, about that. Like, like Femi said, I mean, we all have to encourage 
because encourage you for wanting to go into farming, part of the future opportunity for us as a country, and with large job opportunities, is the Greek area. 